and I have lost track of place and time. Oh, there <laughs> As usual. Oh, my. Oh, was my turn. Okay. <laughs> appearances deceive because they are appearances and not reality. Dwell not on them in any form. They but obscure reality and they bring fear because they hide the truth. Do not attack what you have made to let you be deceived. For thus you prove that you have been deceived. Attack and attack has power to make illusions real. Yet what it makes is nothing. Who could be made fearful by a power that can have no real effects at all? What could it be but an illusion? <clears throat> Making things appear like to itself. Look kindly at its toys and understand that they are idols which but dance to vain desires. Give them not your worship, for they are not there. Yet this is equally forgotten in attack. God's son needs no defense against his dreams. His idols do not threaten him at all. His one mistake is that he thinks them real. What can the power of illusions do? So in there, he's restating what he said earlier, this one sentence, yet this is equally, give them not your worship, your attachment, your desire, for they are not there. Yet this is equally forgotten in attack. Attacking is the same as pursuing. And so that's why this whole course is about laying down attack, because your attack on your illusions is keeping you here. Because you're saying it's real if you're attacking it. You're losing sight of the fact it's not real. You don't have to have that thing happen. You don't have to have that person act that way. You don't have to have this stuff. Those are appearances. So sickness could be an idol or an illusion too. You could attack, attack yourself for that. Yes. And you don't want to attack yourself because we are dreaming we're sick. We're dreaming we're sick because we attacked ourselves. Because we are less than we, our ego wants us, thinks we should be. Yet our ego is the one that convinced us we're what we are. But this is the kind of stuff we do. So you don't want to attack any of the stuff we do in our craziness. You want to, with the help of the Holy Spirit, forgive it, understand it, and let it go as meaningless. Because sickness is, a sick body is no more evidence that we're not the son of God than a well body is. Mm -hmm. They mean nothing. What, what our appearances are mean nothing. Mm -hmm. Right there, neither of them mean anything. Just like he said, good dreams, bad dreams, they're dreams. We're the son of God, whether we're sick or well or wealthy or not wealthy or happy or sad. The real us is always there. It's just our illusions we're playing out, our idols and our little appearances, right? We don't want to be deceived. Appearances deceive because they are appearances and not reality. So we have all kinds of, remember this is a dream to deny the truth mm -hmm. through appearances. Mm -hmm. So we appear to be weak. We appear to be sick. Just to convince ourselves, we appear to die. Just to convince ourselves that what he told us about us is not true. It says, you don't know what you're talking about. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right, you're wrong. <laughs> I changed myself. It's a lie. Look, it's right here in living color. <laughs> and I can feel it. And I can see it. And I can smell it. <laughs> it's got to be real, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what he's saying. And it's, that's the exact message in the Bible. Appearances deceive. It's exactly the same message. Again, just expanded here so we can get a little better understanding of what he was trying to tell us. He says, don't be deceived by apparent appearances. Hey.